Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Empire Total War uh, Warpath campaign as the Plains Nations. Alright, so previously we've um, just been trying to capture the 12 settlements that we needed by the end of um, 1813. We've got 5 years left to do it. We only need one more settlement. Yes. We're approaching their capital here. But I'm concerned, like, if I if I fight them here, I'll need to take them to replenish our numbers but at the same time if I continue Great along this way here and I get caught in the middle by two armies I'm not going to have enough forces to stop them so we might as well just suck it up and just actually get rid of them the hell <laughs> look at the odds on that one so we have to fight about it which is what I was going to do anyway so it's fine but while we're making our way towards there, we'll need some time to replenish, which will give our other army that's on its way time to get here. Alright, Some of these units, I think, are way overrated in the balance of power. That's fine. So they're moving over here now. Yes, Chief. Trying to take them on a little bit at a time is probably the, the ideal situation. It's kind of ridiculous that these guys here with one small region can afford so many armies. But you know, we are playing on the hardest difficulty. It's, just, you know, it's like, what do you expect? They are technically a major factor. Then again, everyone's a kind of major factor. I wouldn't worry too much about them, let's get rid of their cavalry first. There's wolf warriors on their way. I'm supposed to change the music, maybe it's because we're actually in like a traditionally European part of the, the, the country. I don't know. It's getting a bit tired of that old track anyway. I'm trying to get rid of their cavalry first, but I can't get flanked by this motherfucker. Some of the animations in this game are terrible. And I don't mean terrible by today's standards, I mean terrible for their standards. Like Medieval 2 was better in terms of animations. Like Medieval 2 doesn't look as crisp, but the animations are actually better. The movements and such. Like it's just really awkward in this. Yeah, that's my thoughts. I know some people absolutely love this game, I just don't understand why. I don't hate the game as a standalone game, but as a Total War game, this fucked the franchise for a long time. That's why I call this game the Dark Age of Total War. God damn it. I'm trying to do commentary here with this fucking shit every goddamn battle. Good. So 
Why are those medicine men running away? That's the general there. Alright, get moving. Alright, so the battle should be... No, hang on, it's not just about over. There must be more units that just haven't shown up yet. Right, you guys get into formation. And just wait for, um... Wait to heal. Ah, uh, not heal, um... Cover your fatigue. These guys are actually pretty good. They are very strong in morale. So the next unit is where? Ooh, motherfucker. What the hell were they? <laughs> Luckily, I don't think they did much damage. Fuck, it came straight from my rear. Too bad. Yeah, so it provides experience provides one extra attack and defense. So that's pretty damn useful. Alright, let's get ready to surround them. Even though they haven't had quite enough rest, it doesn't matter. It it once once we surround them, they'll just break anyway. So it doesn't even matter if we're exhausted. Again, okay, another reason why I usually just run around everywhere. Because I like things to hurry the fuck up. Alright, move on the battle. Make sure you finish them off though. gonna have a hard time recruiting new armies, especially with just one region. Technically they should only be able to recruit one unit every turn, but they probably get all kinds of bonuses. Alright, so we lost a thousand men off that, so it's a good thing we didn't get ourselves painted by too many forces. Your orders. So, you'll need some time to heal. He's a pretty expensive heal. Why do you have to go around this unit? That always bothered me how agents can just like. Anyway. Destroy them! Oh, okay. No, I still can't get there in time. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, like, hey, move out the fucking way, bitch. We will die for the good of our nation. If they just want to go around raiding, that's fine. Yes. Immediately. So yeah, weren't we going to try and get a peace treaty with them? Of course, they're probably not going to accept it, but... Nope. It could try threatening them, but in all my time playing this game, 
I don't think I've ever once successfully done a threat. Like, it doesn't matter how powerful you are, they're just like, nope. It's like, I don't think that you're going to actually go ahead with your threat, and you've got like four armies on their border. Alright, so from over here, we can now recruit some new stuff. So, what about artillery? Well, this is a fixed artillery. It's probably the only artillery we can get. It's a bit on the expensive side. But we've been doing really well just using warriors. These guys are actually dragoons. But look at look at the cost of that motherfucker. Um, yeah, still I'm, I'm just gonna get the warriors. We'll rec recruit our uh, our next stack from here. Yeah, so you guys meet up with them over this way. Or even I'll have them meet up in that direction. So financially, we're still making loads of money. So that's good. Okay, I don't think I need this anymore. Because we can get reinforcements from here now. I'd like to send these guys over there. It could be some time before those other guys come back, so let's just do it. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I've done everything that I can do. Here we go here with public order. Pretty good. Alright, moving on. Pretty confident that I could win it, but we need to heal. Okay, good. There another army coming in from shit I don't know where. Great father. Alright, because this region makes so much money, we want to definitely increase its upkeep. And not upkeep, increase the tax rate. Talking about. Um, could we get a little bit of insight what's going on at Quebec? The shadows will hide. There's forts there as well. That won't be a fun one to fight. We've got to have to wait until there's like nothing there. However, whilst you might not be able to get to Montreal, he just might be able to. May the spirits walk with us. No, 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 wrong ones. Them up this way. Make ready. So going to be a revolt here next turn. Uh, maybe we should kill them. But then again, if we just take take this settlement here, it will be over with them. Warriors ready. So I want to try and get them to chase us. Ready for orders. back over here to relative safety and he'll sneak over here and hopefully capture Montreal because that army in there we can deal with that but not not inside the fort I 
leader. Nothing else to construct, and we are still making an absolute damn fortune. How are we going with tech? Okay, we can now research the money economy. That's what we really need. I don't need that, so grab that. Five more turns, good. That's gonna make us a lot of cash. So we could probably hire a whole new army just by researching that. They're trying to sneak into my lands from a different angle. That's okay. Draw their forces into the into that region that's gonna revolt anyway, it's fine. And all we gotta do is capture their final settlement, all their armies disappear. I mean why why go through the through the pain of I guess killing every last one of them where we could just end it with relatively low violence. Okay, so there's a revolt here. Army settler rebels. Now, if we let them actually capture this settlement, I'm fairly sure that it becomes ownership to the United States and there'll be a bit of resistance left over. Now, we'll have to declare war on the United States, but who really cares? They're pretty much dead anyway. They've only got a few settlements. Are they, they're at war with Great Britain again. I say let them take it. Warriors ready. Let him take it, and that'll get rid of like twenty turns of instability. Ready for orders. Your words Let's guide us ready. all. Our lives are guided by the spirits. Warriors. To stop ready them from being able to get back orders. this way. Yes. And you just swear over here. Men. Forward. War leader. March. Yes. Anything more? Your orders. We will die for yes. the good of our nation. Doesn't even matter if there's a full stack in there, we'll still beat it. So does this guy over here? Where is he going? Chief. So he's clearly got military hang on, who is he even at war with? So we look at them. He they surely don't have military access, right? Ready for orders. Stay over here. Because he won't make it back there in time. We have to prevent them from capturing this, because we've almost got him, got him dead. So I bother recruiting anything here this turn, because it's gonna, it's gonna be taken. And that is pretty much all we can do this time. I can't see anything else that needs to be constructed. That can be repaired. So can this. I don't bother about it, it's, it's all going to be lost anyway. Ready, we could finish the them off, but like I said, if we could just deal with the final blow here, we don't need to. Ready. Two turns and we're here. Alright, moving on. We're running really short on time, but like I said, we have the option to just... So they want to do some... Region swapping. Nope. I doubt my regions are less valuable than theirs. What a terror. What are armies there? How the hell do they manage to afford that many troops? So with resistance to foreign occupation there being at 20. Where'd that other army go? 
Yes. Ben. Forward. Hunting with the bear. Is there more to be done? Ask. So shall I do. Ready to okay, perform. Stand right order. here. Ready and waiting for orders. That way, we, at least we hold the river crossing. All right, so we're going to declare war on the United States. They don't have any allies, do they? Nope. Everyone hates them. Yes. War leader. Yes. Blood will stain the sacred earth. We have them now. Settlement under Warriors siege. Warriors ready. Waiting Great for orders. orders. So I'm Anything expecting more? not so much resistance to foreign occupation. That's what I'm hoping they for. They hide behind their walls. Our strength is praised. triumphant. Sound the call to battle. Uh, it's still 20. Oh well, we got rid of about six turns of of uh, problems by doing that. Maybe five turns, but still, the cost probably wasn't really worth it. At the ready. Ready to perform your will. Make ready. Warriors ready. March. Your oh well, it was worth a bit of an experimenting to try it out. The game really doesn't want you to take these settlements without some sort of problems. So if we can capture that next turn, we win. Warriors ready. Onwards. Our journey. Their army is right here, but they'll oh. shit. You might need to get down this way and recapture the settlement for us. It says here, there's no way they've got that much movement. That's sort of that's ridiculous. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Right, moving on. do anything if we can take their capital not only do we wipe them out but we um we get the settlements that we needed good the settlement's under control now no more revolts yes as quiet as a deer okay quite a bit of resistance there but Ready to perform your will as the, we the large cries to the moon sound the call oh god Damn it. Fuck me. Medicine men. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Funny thing is, though, we've got archers, right? And we can outrange all of their units. So maybe that could come in handy. Now, just hold on. See, this is their last know. settlement, right? Yep. And it's the last one we need. So I'm still trying to toss up whether or not to continue after this campaign. Or after we, we achieve victory. But, they eh, hide fuck it, behind we'll see how we go. Walls. I'm, like, it's not the best campaign, I think. This is a terrible campaign, it's gonna be wrong, but it's not that unenjoyable. Alright, let's let's do this. Take this slow and do it right. If we fuck this up, we're not gonna get here back in time. Let's go for some other sort of easier settlement. So many armies are just gonna be wiped out because of this. And then I happen to fight them. these guys here first we'll get into a bit of a skirmish bother me what we shoot, but I prefer to shoot medicine men, obviously. 
But I'll settle for Arms Tribes. What we want to do is just thin their numbers out a little bit before sending these guys into combat. Because they're going into melee as well. Everyone does. And then uh, we also need to make sure that we don't lose too many troops because the British could come over here and be like, eh, I might take it to Japan. Tribesmen. Also, with them running around like this, they're getting exhausted. That is going to make it a lot easier for me to kill them. Shoot the medicine men. Well, they can fire back, they have much less range. Plus, they're. That we, we shot at the medicine men because those are the units we need to kill the most. And they're firing back. gotten the better of them. Just, just take it slow. Because medicine men are dangerous. Even once the generals kill, they're dangerous. How much ammunition do these guys usually have? 16. I'm not at all disappointed with not training more of these units. They're just not performing well at all. Incredibly inaccurate. They just don't do very much damage. Here's a chief's bodyguard. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean for you guys. Okay, they're in melee combat with the, with the bowmen. Fine. If we kill the enemy general, that'll make a big difference for us here. So charge at him. General got away. Fuck 
you shot him in there. Missed it because you guys are too slow. At least all their troops are exhausted. That's also going to affect their morale. You need to kill that chief bodyguard. It seems like whenever I give like a command for them to shoot, they have to move really far uh, forward. Just, just irritating. Just use the range to, to shoot at. They're doing a pretty good job now. They've killed quite a few of them. Oh, here we go. At least all this dicking around that they did is really going to hurt them because they're so exhausted. Get into combat with the chief's bodyguard, that would be perfect to push him off. Because there's Shadow to those who's dead. huge amounts of uh, fear on specific isolated units and roll them up. Stop celebrating him one yet. Try and flank them, but there's a obstruction here. Okay. Too many of them are fighting in here. It's just a big blob. Leave two behind, everyone move back. me. 
our, our guys are getting close. Don't bother fighting them. We have to flank them. Even though we've killed the enemy general, these medicine men will not necessarily... They're almost breaking. Well, this... I think... Tricking me. Lots of power's in our favour. That's good. Why do you just pathfind properly? Pathfinding is just the worst. I don't want to send the cavalry in yet, because obviously if we lose our general, we're the ones that will lose. That's the in our favour, looking good. It doesn't help that our guys got tired so quickly. Called the mass route. It's, it's just a lot harder to do that against medicine men because they inspire new by units. Get over here. I keep pressing R every single time and it never registers. Don't need to do that. If they're broken, they'll they're shattered. Good. Get a brand over this way. And you lot, here's your chance. You've got to do the flanking maneuver. Don't care if you're exhausted, don't have time. Get around them, cause them to break. God damn it. If the British come here next turn, we're not gonna be able to hold the settlement. Then again, let these guys go, replenish, and then come back and retake it. It's more important that we take these guys out completely. We took the settlements that we needed to take from them. We need them now to die. The guys are starting to break. It'd be a good idea also to merge the, the, uh, the bowmen. I just don't want them anymore. They did a reasonably good job in this battle, but they're useless against the Europeans. Okay, here we go. I'm starting to wrap around a bit now. Those armed tribesmen shouldn't be able to do much. If the general could just get a nice big charge right in the rear. Could you just pathfind properly, please? I'm annoyed that I'm taking so many casualties, especially considering we killed the enemy general. But like I said, it's, even if we lose this entire army, we took out this faction that, we, that refused peace. That's good. There we go. Good. That's right. That's what we're looking for. 
Yeah, maybe heroic victory, but it took a lot of damage on that. That's what I thought. They lost a lot more men. Warriors born for war. Okay, so we have to we have to hold it until the a lot of time though. But like I said, I just don't think I can hold this this settlement. As you ask, so shall I do. I might be able to. Okay, well, let's merge this. Let me one, two, three, four. Because those are the only ones that really concern me. Four and then five. Can't really maintain public order here anyway. Plus, we get you know two peasants, and you're you're getting better. So all of their armies just disappear. Excellent. Yes. Including the one that was down there. Very, very good. Ready to perform your will. Our lives are yes, immediately. Alright, good. Ready to perform Let's go here and need some will. replenishment. Alright, yeah, so I think what I'll do here is I don't think I'll be able to hold this. Let me see what's I just don't think I can hold it. Oh, was the US up, right? Yeah, I am. Um, I need to get them back. Um, the British will come over here. They, they may or may not take it, but we'll have reinforcements over here to recapture it. And there's considerable number of forces coming to... Uh, to capture Quebec. All of this is now safe. So here we're going for money. Excellent. We're rolling around in cash. Your words guide us all. At the ready. In position. So yeah, just abandon the province. These guys will get back there before um, a revolt actually happens. And if they capture it, well, fine. Two turns until that's done. army. We just also need to send some forces up here. Didn't I attach someone to this army? I thought I did. Chief. He must have died. Oh well, it happens. I await the wishes of the yeah, we need to get rid of the animus, uh, get rid of the Protestantism here. The right, where are my agents? Actually, if I put this guy... Yeah, that's not too many things. Alright, moving on. <laughs> the US are coming straight for us. Don't, don't the Cherokee hate them, though? Oh good, they didn't take the settlement. Excellent. Oh shit, we need to get rid of all this industrialization shit in here. So, uh, yeah, all that. I mean, there's a lot of money to be had, I'm sure. There's heaps of money. But... 
better we fix the public order and just make less money. At the ready, war leader. Yes, war leader. March. Warriors get back ready. in up because these guys here are backing you up. Okay, there will be uh, rioting here anyway. Yes. Alright, so if we go to the Cherokee Nations, they're just at war with them, so it might actually be best to offer an alliance. 17,000? No. Well then, you can fucking lose your settlement then. And I'll, and I'll, I'll capture it off you. Men. Forward. After you've lost it. If that's the way you want to be, I was willing to come and actually help you out. You want to be an ingrate? Ungrateful shit, you can, you can die. Gathering supplies. Spit on my generosity, how dare you. Our orders? Our lives are guided by the spirits. I was willing to send my guy over here to back you up, because I don't want the US coming anywhere near me. Our new town emerges. But where? the last place I was going to look. Okay, so... Yeah, just, just more money from here would be best. Up the good here is fine. And this will also increase yeah, the growth of the, uh, the wealth here, so also good. So if the British come down here, I mean, unless they send... Oh, there's more than stack here now. Can we leave? Make ready Awaiting for the, the ready. ready to okay, I don't really care if they capture this. I might even destroy the spiritual circle, because public order will be fine. This is actually going up. Yes. Kind of like that this army has to stay here just in case of um, bloody Dutch coming back. I'll put them in a Dutch oven. Okay. Oh, good. Let's move on to the next turn. I probably could afford another army, but let's just call it for the time being. I feel like our replenishment costs are going to be quite severe over the next few turns. Right, let's see how the US does. I, I'm actually kind of rooting for them to win now. Should have increased my taxes by a lot, but maybe just due to increased costs. It didn't. Alright, so where is this settlement here? Okay, yeah, there's that one there, and this. We can get rid of that now. And when that's done, we can get rid of that one. So don't need it. So we have we have to hold this for just a few more turns. Your orders ready for orders. That's right, I'm supposed to get some reinforcements. Yes. 
Warriors. War leader. Advance. And we could attack this. What now? What more I can I do against the spirit winds? Even the spirits must sleep. We probably have huge public order problems once we take it. We could starve them out. They probably won't like that. They'll come out and fight us, which is actually to our favour. Because that fort is not going to go down so easy, not without artillery. Yeah, they are not going to go down easy at all. Send two units over here to reinforce them. The of course, this army here still, it still needs to stay there because it's just massive public order problems. Low chance of sabotaging it. I don't think I'll give that a shot. See if Great Britain wants peace treaty. Well, they're terrifying and rich. What about the United States? Because they'd be a little bit busy now. You know, try not to die. So the Cherokee people are they also at war with Spain? No, just just the United States. I kind of don't want the United States to lose because they're they're so well hated. If if they die, then everyone's just going to hate me next. Great father. Just tossing up whether or not we should actually go and attack this because it's going to be it's going to be very difficult. They don't have a general in here, though. And with two armies, I'm confident that I could win. But I feel like I have to clear this one out first. War leader. All right, why don't we just wait? Yes. Reinforcements are on the way. Your words guide us on. Ready. They'll sort it out. Make camp. Setting up camp. What would the spirits have us do? That's what they had there before. They're making lots of money off this, but we can get pelts. The fur pelts is what's making us so much money anyway. So if we look at this region now. Didn't seem to increase by that much wealth because of the, the tech. Maybe I overestimated it. Let's say plus 20% wealth generated by all buildings, but here's the thing. They don't generate wealth. They generate fur. Not the same thing. So it would have it would have generated extra wealth for things like like this and 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 this. So that wouldn't have actually increased our wealth by that much, I suppose. It's alright, it's it's still it still helps. Because at least now we're getting more um, growth on these towns. So the longer we play now, the more money we'll make, the more armies we'll have, the more we can crush our enemies. But then again, that's sort of the same with them. They're, they're gaining a lot of money as well. Alright, moving on. It's kind of good they put more troops in there, because then there's 
they lose the, the free units. I don't know. I mean, a lot of artillery. The artillery don't actually count for that much when we charge in on them like a madman. Great father. Get all of our forces the over there now. Yes. I want you to command. But, like I said, we're not going to assault it. We're going to starve them out. Just do this. Let's go. The wolf cries to the moon. Sound of call. So three turns until surrender. Settlement under siege. Yes. Men. Forward. War leader. Immediately. There is no escape for them. Anything more. Okay, good. good. With this. Siege like this. Underway. Um. Great father. Settlement thing is they will probably send reinforcements, won't they? Well, these guys aren't coming in as reinforcements, are they? It's just, I don't mind fighting them on the Siege battlefield. Underway. Just not, not in the forts, no way. And it's three, probably four turns of ready surrenders. To perform your will. Warriors ready. War leader. Okay, don't need to leave the entire army there. We will die for the good of our nation. Ready and waiting for orders. Ready to perform your will. War leader. Warriors, advance. We will die for the good of our nation. They hide behind their walls. Okay. Settlement under siege. I await so I the wishes of you the spirits. You sabotage this army. Spying. Good. That'll stop them from moving. I, yeah, I think so you should try. check go. Okay. So what's our finances? 9,000. Alright, fuck it. I'm going to recruit new army. Just allow us to ruffle stomp everyone if we've got that many forces. Siege underway. I mean, they'll, they'll probably sally out, but with this much force, I'm confident of victory. I will keep watch. watching and waiting. forces. Oh no, they've just split the ones that they've got. Alright, no more technologies needed, so we can we can demolish this now. Don't need it anymore. Chief. Your words guide us all. Settlement besieged. So they're losing like one or two men a turn. So two men, till, two two turns until they staff out. If we were to assault this, we would lose so many men. It'd just be an absolute nightmare to replenish all that. Yes. Yes. Although I don't think it would be that bad if we would take these guys out here, because they'd they'd come in to help. Victory will be ours. Yeah, we'll find this manually. Okay, so we'll have reinforcements coming. We'll just, just. Charge in there and kill them. We outnumber them by so much. The reinforcements are coming in from over there, out there. 
Yeah, try and get rid of these before the um, before reinforcements come in. Definitely want these guys to get into into an attack to front uh, at their front, just so they stop shooting. Well, it's going to go around their rear. Yeah, those line infantry can do a lot of damage. I think these guys here didn't get a chance to shoot. General should be dead soon. here should pretty much break as well as soon as we get to them, because the general's dead, but we'll receive the army lost penalty very soon. victory in my house. They probably took more casualties than we did. And they did. And both Bank armies ready. did. Excellent. And it's still got two turns until it's surrendered, so you might get a chance to replenish in time. Onwards. Siege underway. Good. There is no escape for them. For the Spirit of the Eagle. Good. No reinforcements coming in from anywhere. Buys us time. Ready. Warriors, advance. Ready to perform your will. Okay, I'll send Ready these guys in now. May the spirits walk and we'll continue recruiting. These guys will maintain garrison. Making camp. Settlement under siege. So we're at summer, 1812. I suppose the British are a bit too busy fighting Napoleon. Um, we're right on the mark here. As long as we don't lose a single settlement over the next two turns, we should be fine. But this is the beginning of, of 1812, so we're okay. 
Alright, I'm moving on. Alright, they're coming out to fight us. Oh, only two of the armies are gonna reinforce me. Right, let's do this. When the white man discovered this country, Indians were running it. No taxes, no debt, women did all the work. <laughs> I wonder what feminists have to say about that. Alright, those cannons are... Oh, what? Oh, hang on, they're, they're sallying out. Oh, I fucking hate this shit. They sally out and I have to attack. No, they're, they're, they're coming out. Because I, I remember seeing stuff like this before, where... Hmm. Okay, I didn't think the fort was going to be here. It's been such a long time since I played this. Where's their artillery? We should make a rush over here and just get rid of them. See if we can do this battle just with using these guys here without reinforcements. Make a rush at this, we can take out three of their artillery. So just remember, even if we win this, even if we capture the fort, if we let any of them live, it won't be captured. It's silly, but that's just how it works. Now they've got a general's bodyguard here. That actually could work out well for us because if we kill him, they'll uh, have terrible morale. They've got quite a few general's bodyguards, it seems. Ooh, canister shots of pain. Oh, they are actually doing some damage to their own units, which is not as much as they probably should be. Considering the, the point blank range of which they got shot in the back. Don't fight them. Get over here. Good, make sure you wipe them out. I don't know if it's the right one. If they've got multiple generals, it could be the wrong one. Let's finish them off. Okay, well the artillery in this area has been wiped out, but they've still got more coming in over this way. It may have we may have actually killed the proper general. Because these guys ran very quickly. Next step, take out their cavalry. Then while they're out fighting here, we'll send someone in here to go and capture the, um, the fort. Uh, maybe, we'll see, here we go. Ok, 
Okay, we gotta we gotta form up. Because they've left the fort relatively undefended. don't have time to sit around and rest. You've got to keep moving. So all these guys here, move up forward here, take out their cavalry. Because someone has to get inside here and just... Hey, where's the capture point? Okay, I guess that's not going to happen. Looks like we have to outright win. There we go, we've got three armies in reserve, so if we have to withdraw some troops, or if they get wiped out, it's not the end of the world. This is their capital here. to stand right here, so as soon as they come around the corner, just go out and attack them. Okay, have a bit of a rest there. I thought we could come in here and capture this, but there's no capture point. They're not actually s they're set up, so they're, they're not they're not going to be able to shoot us. But they're getting back up on their thing, so move it, move it. You got a small window of opportunity before they try and get back off the guns, put the guns back down, and shoot at you. At least we got into melee with them before they could... They were far more dangerous shooting than they are in melee, so just, just, even if we end up dying, just get in there. Like some good... Plenty of armies in reserve. Stay relatively close to them, make sure these guys do not break. It's actually working out really nicely. It's not crucial that you take them all out. You're gonna get over here and and contribute to this envelopment. It's a big envelopment that's going on here. Inside. I wouldn't worry about it. Get over here, you have to come off. Just, just stay there. Oh, 
I see. You don't play that game, do you? Nope, I'm not gonna let you do it. Slaughtering them in this battle. Cavalry running down, but not while that artillery is in play. Take a lot of casualties here. Just spread out a bit. safe now to go out there and knock them down. It should be pretty easy now to assault the fort. Their defences have been utterly destroyed. But I doubt I've wiped out the entire army. Are there any chance of me catching them? See if you can kill them all. Well, at least you killed lots of them. Okay, now, if you can make it over here, you deserve a commendation for that. Or whatever the fuck your species, your species, your race gives. A peace pipe or a, a blowjob or whatever, I don't care. Just kill them. Completely wiped out, but our army's in good shape. I didn't even need reinforcements. Uh, the settler unrest happened here, which, yeah, it's fine. So when we take Quebec here, it's mostly Catholic. What have they got? Bankruptcy. Huh. The British are bankrupt. How about that? So who's left in here? Settlement under siege. I wonder how much we how many characters will take with this. This theory is a mountain's mighty voice. Fucking kidding me. 528. Good thing I can Darkness afford it. Stain the sacred earth. Alright, well 
let's start demolishing all this shit. Can't make use of it. Yeah, we'll keep that. And good, we got 13, so we got a bit of a buffer here now. If we lose a settlement, it's not in the world. If we lose two settlements, yeah, that's not good. Should have fought that manually. Yes. Probably wouldn't have taken any casualties, but... Oh well. Ready and I mean, I could always just load the autosave, but yes. it's not its not that important. We've got the money to replenish it. We're not going to get into any more fights between now and then. Yes. So I'd like to send you up here. I doubt they'll have much resistance. Ready and awaiting your work. Okay, I thought it would have 30 resistance, but it's only 13. It's still pretty bad, though. A lot of religious unrest. Great chief, what now? I await. Oh, we need to get back over here. Where's my other scout? Oh my... shit. He was attached to that other army and when I killed that army he got killed. Huh, what a bug. Moving as you ask. Oh well. How may I serve the tribe? My path goes that the, way. The um, Protestantism here is not really that big of a deal. So we should prioritize getting rid of it here. So many people live here. 91,000. Alright, good. At least we can make use of the metal roads. Yes. So, what do we do with you? So, if we look at Great Britain now, they might be willing to negotiate. They're, no, they're still considered mighty and affluent. So apparently, their power is higher than mine. Well, they're at war with the um, with the United States again. It looks like the United States might actually be fighting back quite a bit. It's a bit risky to go in there when we don't know what's in there. So this is my scout. We'll send him in to go and have a look. All right, let's see what construction's available and move on to the next turn. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Right, yeah, so I don't want to offer Great Britain peace, but I want to offer United Provinces peace. I'll never accept it, but whatever. So how strong are they considered? Strong and meager. The United States is feeble and destitute. I'll offer them peace. Nobody wants peace in this. Spain is considered terrifying and rich. Nope. They're probably too busy fighting the United States, which I think have like... It's really hard to get rid of them because every revolt, pretty much, is a settler revolt, which is for them. Right, moving on. about them, but that's okay. So they demand 5200 for a peace treaty. I mean, I can afford that peace treaty, but I don't think that's, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll accept a standard peace treaty. 
for military lights, no, like, you're not worth it. Right, that's probably where all of their power comes in. All of those ships. Here, but that's okay. I go. I walk the path of the wolf. Orders. Wait one more turn. I mean, we've only got two more turns left until until victory is met. Yes. Yes. Today is a good day to die. Percent in there. The I need to destroy that as well. So it looks like there'll be some rioting, but it's fine. How much money are we making? Just, just so much cash. So yeah, these warriors performed really well. You know what, I'm going to take the risk. Warriors, advance. Gathering supplies. Yeah, their forces are not that severe. Ready to perform your will. Yes. So you're still waiting on your troops over here for reinforcements. They might very well try and stop that port. I mean, just go in and attack it, but whatever, it's 400 gold, it's not that much. No Spanish down here ready to pounce on me to prevent me from getting victory. Okay, moving on. Okay, they're getting dangerous and close to my border. I will send them a peace treaty. Oh, okay. That's what you get. Victory. Your winner. God damn it. It's like... Come on. Is that, is that the best you got? Are you, are you serious? Like that. I mean, maybe it's just because it was a short victory. Maybe I need a domination victory to get something like, like a clip, or, clip scene or something. But I doubt it. Ready and waiting orders. Prepare for war. They won't stop us. So we just get a quick look over here. Hunting with the bear. I await. So that's by our not defended at all. Public order there is going to be terrible. Yes. Doesn't matter. Take it. Demand their surrender. Siege broken. Yeah, like I said, public order is terrible, but that's okay. So, United States, I will be willing for peace. And let's just hope that they're they're still willing to accept that same offer. I'll even up it to 6,000. How about that? Sounds like a pretty good deal, eh? Like, the 31,000 is not that big of a deal. It's like three turns worth of income, but it's like I don't really want to give them that money. Then again, they'll have that money to attack other people. So, I'll make some of the money back with the trade agreement. Let's haggle a little bit. How about we make it? 20,000. Come on, haggle a little bit. You don't understand how haggling works, okay? I offer something, you don't like the offer, then you decrease your offer and I increase my offer until we reach reach the point we want to. Fucking moron. 
Right. If you don't know how to bloody haggle, all I want is peace then. Fine, whatever. Just I just don't want them standing in my territory. And what do I need that money for? At least we got a trade agreement with them and we're allies with them. Cool. And the main purpose of that was just so they don't... They're getting dangerously close to my territory and even these guys here probably could have taken settlements because we... Our guys, we've, we've seen, they just do nothing. Yes. So I'll bring you well, in around over here so that you can capture Falmouth. Our journey ends. Yes. So we're at an hour and a half. I think I will continue this campaign for another episode. Make it five, five episodes. Even though we've already got victory, we'll just see if we can take some more settlements. I don't know if we'll continue beyond that. Certainly full, full map doesn't seem like a viable option. I mean, we could. I don't think anyone ever, would, ever has actually captured the whole map. Because what you'd have to do is you'd have to bribe the British for certain settlements. And and the um, and them as well. So that's where France is, and that's their capital. So have, you'd have to capture this, raise an army here. Not capture it. You'd have to bribe it, raise an army here, and then go and attack it from there. So that'd be getting full map on this map would be. We're, we're talking about 2017. It'd take us to get that. It's just we have to accumulate tons of money. But that being said, accumulating cash is not that difficult. Because as we continue on the campaign, I mean, the, the tax income that we get from here will continue to increase by 29 every turn. That's just this region here. So if we had 10 regions, that's 290. Our, our upkeep increase, or not upkeep, our income increases every single turn. It's quite a lot. And that's probably not even the richest one. There's probably ones out here that have even more increase, or less. Let's have a look. 35. 35, 23. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe, part 5 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.